Hey everyone, welcome back to Bleach Brave Souls. And guys, we actually have the gameplay and the statistics in one video. Oh my god, this is crazy. It's never happened before. Uh, so as you know by now, probably, uh, end of the month banner is going to be Shinji, Aizen, and Shunsui. So they did some gameplay on the K-Lab Japan, uh, K-Lab Japan livestream. So let's go over it now, guys. Let's take a look. So starting with Shinji, as you can see, he's going to be a speed character. Blue. Uh, that's very good because he is also 20 damage reduction. Finally, a 20 DR blue uh, to go, go on your chads. Uh, the only problem problem I see is that he is a spiritual pressure based character and in order for him to be perfect he'd have to be attack based but it's still a third blue DR link uh, to go along with Kenpachi and Baby Nell so if you have Chad at 10 10 10 or any other blue character at 10 10 10 you could have full DR on them now with speed links. Uh, the stats I mean they're typical stats for uh, character these days very high spiritual pressure 774 Everything else is par for the course. And the important skills on this Shinji, guys, uh, we have Frenzy. Of course, we have Frenzy. We have Debilitator because he has Confusion. So that's pretty much Shinji in a nutshell. Let's take a look at his gameplay. Here we go. And, uh, you know, I'm not really too hype on the new Shinji. If you watched my last video, I wasn't too excited for these characters. And there you have the normal attack string. Uh, it looks okay. The normal attack string looks okay. Looks pretty quick. Looks to have decent range. Uh, it's not it's not that flashy. I mean, it's very minimalist particle effects. Just a few uh, a few swipes with the uh, with the white. But I like that kind of thing, so it's okay with me. Um, we should be looking at his normal attacks now. Uh, strong attacks. Strong attack one. Strong attack one looks really good, by the way. Uh, it looks to have a really wide spread, and it, it, it it's quick activation. It goes forward a little bit, so that's good. There it is again. That's actually a really good strong attack one. I mean the range, the length of the the, the length isn't that far, but the, the the width of it is is far. And uh, the strong attack too looks okay. Uh, nothing too special there, and and, and the the special effects, you know, they're kind of they're kind of all right. Strong attack three, that's a full screener with this Sakanade. Uh, that looks really good. The strong attack one again. Uh, so far, it looks all right. Uh, I don't really have anything to criticize here. Here's the special, he's twirling his hat, puts on the mask, and boom, full screener. Alright, that looks pretty good actually. And look at it guys, he transforms to having his mask on. Um, I don't know if that actually increases his damage or changes his, uh, changes his string at all. It doesn't seem to be the case. Um, I can't tell guys, I can't tell. So, I mean, if you have info on that, let me know. <clears throat> but it, it looks like it's more of a just a cosmetic thing. Or maybe there's a slightly increased range on his strong attacks. And there's a special once again. If you remember guys, he wore that outfit. He didn't wear that outfit in the final battle in Karakura Town. I don't think. I think he wore that only that one time he fought Grimjow. So, I mean, that's just a minor nitpick, but he still looks cool. He looks all right, I guess. Uh, moving on guys, let's go take a look at Shunsui. Shunsui this time is going to be a mind character, and I was kind of thinking he might be power, but mind is okay because the uh, only other mind Shunsui is the parasol Shunsui, and that's way outdated. Uh, soul trade is 20% normal attack damage, and the killer is Arankar. If you look at the stats, very high attack guys, 766, one of the highest attacks of the game, and no most notably as well, the defense is not bad either, so 379 is up there. I don't know if it, it's definitely not number one, but it's probably top five. Uh, important skills to note, poise guys, Shunsui has poise, he's a normal attack damage character, so he might have PvP potential, I doubt it. Uh, he also has bruiser, and he's paralysis immune. A 50% bruiser is uh, also normal attack damage increase. No flurry though, uh, and I kind of feel like flurry would have made sense for this character, because he is a dual wielder, you know. But let's get into the gameplay, another Shunsui, you know, not too hype on it. Although Shunsui, I do love his character. Uh, there's the Nat string, and that's what you're going to be using most of the time, guys. It looks okay. You know, it doesn't blow me away. The special effects aren't anything special. Special effects aren't anything special. Uh, strong attack one, uh, very basic right there. Let's take a look at the rest. I like the character model because um, you know he's got the hat on and all that. 
Strong attack two, eh, you know, it's all right. Strong attack three. Oh, it looks to be one of those new style vortexes where it kind of drags the enemies in and then it blows up. So, I mean, you yeah, know, well, a really basic looking character. Uh, nothing really worth, uh, worth, worth, uh, you know, freaking out over. He doesn't have any status effects. Uh, he does have paralysis immunity, so that's something. Uh, no, no, no burn, no nothing on his specials, no chance to insta-kill, as far as I know. Here's the special. Throws his hat up. I remember he used that move on Stark. He tried to distract him with the hat, and then he cut through it. So that uh, that special is fitting for what they're trying to do here. It's the final battle characters. So, I like the special. It looks okay. Alright, so a very basic stream sweep. Uh, not too impressed. Looking at Aizen. Here we go. Uh, Aizen this time is going to be a power character. He's red. This is a remake of the original Hogyoku Aizen. He's also 12% recharge and a hollow killer. So pretty good stuff right off the bat. Uh, if you look at the stats, very, very high SP, 782. And I didn't verify guys, but that might be one or two in the game. So, I mean, that's a great SP to have. Uh, the important skills to note, Frenzy, thank God. Uh, debilitator, because he has, uh, I believe that's, that's definitely weakening. He has weakening on everything, which is awesome. And he's also freeze immune, which is kind of random, but uh, it's another nice thing to have on him. So let's look at the gameplay. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Hang on. Let me get through it. All right. So he looks very similar to his original character model. I don't know if that's the same one or, uh, you know, maybe they just tweaked it a little bit. Um, he apparently is a ranged character, so that's very nice. Uh, range Aizen. I mean, th the thing is, the other Aizen was ranged as well. So, and he actually runs this time. Did he run last time? Oh, that Nat String looks good. I like the Nat String. It's freaking cool looking. It's got uh, it's got the last two hits of it are uh, are those three way shots. Um, it does remind me of the slightly of the manga, the technique manga Ichigo. Or, uh, you know, e even the Byakia, the manga Byakia. Strong attack one, just directly in front of him, uh, just like a linear strong attack. Strong attack two, a moving vortex, all right. Hey, that's that's good. Already it's looking really good for this Aizen. Uh, moving vortex is a very powerful move to have. And strong attack three, I can't tell if that was full screen or not. It looked like it was. So uh, she seems, he seems, I call the machine. He seems similar to, you know, uh, the hollow, uh, the remade Kaname and the uh, the past Lisa. He's one of those characters, the moving vortex characters, range moving vortex character. Here's the special. I like the camera angles. It's very dramatic. And then he kind of just pushes everything away with his Ryatsu. Okay, that's cool. I don't mind it. It's a cool special. I, I, I think it's awesome. Um, but there you have it, guys. That's all the characters in a nutshell. They look good. They look okay. Um, you know, if you're a big fan of these characters, you're probably going to want to try to get get them, obviously. But, uh, you know, I, I don't know, man. There's something about them that, you know, they're not they're not super hype like uh, like I thought they would be. I mean, just because Hogyoku Aizen's a remake. I, I already said all of this stuff in my previous video on this banner. Uh, for me, personally, it's not that hype. I have a feeling that K-Lab is saving uh, or using their uh, resources towards you know, the new Can't Fear Your Own word, World characters and the remade Espadas that are coming out soon and the Christmas banner. So maybe they kind of, you know, maybe they kind of don't have as many people working on these characters because everybody's working on the other stuff. So that's what, that's my opinion, which is fine for me. Um, I'd rather they focus their efforts on the characters that we all really want to see uh, that are going to be coming up in the next few months. So that's my opinion on it guys they're decent characters you're not going to go wrong on pulling on this banner uh it could be a skip for most people it might be just like a 500 or banner for b i do want that shinji because he's 20 dr and i did mention that i thought that would happen like one of these characters is going to be a 20 blue dr link and it did happen so um i just wish he was a nad character if they would have made shinji the nad character and shunsui the sad character it would have been better but i'm not going to complain beggars cannot be choosers um so that's it, guys. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Are you going in on this banner or are you just skipping? Uh, they are good characters uh, regardless. So thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.